You can tell by the outfit and the hair and the makeup and the glowing skin that I'm no longer in the UK. I am on the beautiful island of Rhodos. Rhodes in English, I think that's how you say it. Um, <laughs> I'm here with Ashley. <laughs> She's super cute. So today we're going around the island and I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit of Greek living. What can you get in Greece? Roads for ten pounds a day. The student budget. Let's go. We're going to the old town. We're going to Kalithia, which has some of the most gorgeous views on the island. And we're going to Lindos, one of the most beautiful towns. Ten pounds a day. Let's go. Now in this budget, we are definitely not including breakfast, we're not including hotels, because if you're planning a trip, you'd presumably already have your hotel before you get here, right? And most hotels always come with complimentary breakfast. So we're gonna try and get lunch, we're gonna try and get a little bit of dinner, and we're gonna try and see what's going on around Greek that you can do for free. Yeah, I said free, because I mean, what can you really buy with 10 pounds? This is the ultimate budget challenge test. Ashley's hungry in the background and she's she's eating food. <laughs> she's trying to be sly opening the, the package like I mean it wasn't ten pounds, I can't lie. Well this isn't included because no, I was no, saying yeah, this, is, this is this is part of um part of the special of being here with Thomas Cook. They are providing us with amazing little snacks, tidbits, and you know, and just things to do. Hands. And a bottle of wine. We're at the Acti Imperial Hotel. There is a gorgeous view of the beach. There's a lot of events and activities going on. It's a massive, massive five-star hotel on the island. Do I consider it five-star? I think it's maybe a mid-range family type hotel, but I haven't seen all the amenities just based on the room and based on, you know, the type of hotel. I would say it's kind of like a Cheney hotel vibe. But I guess that goes really well with this video because this is the budget friendly version of this series. So let's get into it. So one of the best things that you can do for free when you're on an island is go to the beach. And what a gorgeous beach this is, just look at the hues in that water. This is called Ixia Beach and it is considered to be one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Rhodes. We grabbed our snacks, our wine and our cameras and headed straight down to the beach. It's a sandy pebble beach, the water is cool and refreshing and the sun was baking that day so it's the perfect time to go down to the beach. We stayed here until sunset and there were lots of water sports and different things going on. You can do jet skiing, windsurfing, all sorts and there are loads of restaurants along the coast of the beach. It wasn't packed, there weren't many people there because the coast stretches for so long you're never going to feel crowded on this beach. Of course there are loads of other beaches that you can check out. The best beach on the island is considered to be Megali Paralia which is in Lindos and we are going to go there in the next vlog. Some other beaches include Kalithia which we're going to go to as well. Prasonisi, a gorgeous sandbank beach, and Columbia for its views and fine sand. I mean, you can't really go wrong going to any beach, but those are my top picks. We were having such a good time chilling, taking photos, and doing little videos. I had my gimbal, everything was going fine, until I looked at my gimbal and my phone was gone. And that just kind of killed the entire mood and we ended up going back to the hotel for dinner. I didn't put it down, I didn't, it was literally in my hand. Like in my hand, like right there, and it, it was just gone. It was literally just like, she literally gave me her gimbal and was like, hold this. And then she was like, well, hold on with my phone. And like the phone wasn't on the gimbal. <sighs> But the next day in the morning, I just figured I'd use find my phone and luckily the phone was still on. It washed up on the beach. I could not believe it. So I got my phone back. It was actually working and I was able to use it. How crazy is that? Next day, we went exploring the old town of Rhodes, which is about five to 10 minutes away from our hotel by taxi and about 25 minutes walking. now outside of the palace of the Grand Master of Knights of Rhodes, which is a really mouthful to say, but 
it's one of the things that you can do here um, I don't know if you have to pay to go inside but we're gonna check it out if it's not then it's a free thing that you can do and it's part of the £10 budget um, we're probably gonna try and get a meal we're gonna try and get a drink and um, I don't know maybe some snacks and stuff we'll see what we can get £10 in Europe is 12 euros so I've got 12 euros to spend today it's gonna be a tight one babes but we'll see if we can manage it let's go the old town of Rhodes was named the UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988 and it is one of the most well preserved, not to mention the largest inhabited medieval city in Europe. It's a great place to have a self-guided tour, it's very easily accessible and easy to walk around. So you do have to pay to go into the castle and there is a museum in the castle I believe as well. But to explore the grounds is free and there's lots of information around the grounds to tell you what things are. The castle then leads into the old town where you can find lots of different things on offer. There's lots of shops where you can buy a little trinket, souvenirs, fine jewellery. You can get some leather goods, clothing, pretty much everything you're looking for. And of course there are lots of restaurants and bars at all price ranges. Take your time, explore the town. It's really bustling when there's lots of tourists but not in any way overcrowded or overwhelmed. Overwhelming. The town is quite charming and just makes you feel really chilled and relaxed. What's the name of this restaurant? Romeo. 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 Yes. I found this restaurant, Romeo. I'm going to have a starter, a salad, and look at the size of this beer, all for 10 euros. Local beer. Local beer at that. <laughs> Let's have a go. I can't believe I'm having a Greek salad. In Greece. I make these at home all the time, but now having the authentic thing, it feels a little surreal. You always want to get in there and toss it. Just use your fingers. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but it's got all of the olive oil and the dressing and stuff right in there and just mix it in. Look how good and lush that looks. Mmm. My food, my beer, all came up to around eight pounds. That is not bad at all. I've still got two pounds to spare. Maybe I can get myself a little cheeky dessert. After lunch, we spent the rest of the day exploring more of the old town and then headed back to our hotel around sunset so we could have dinner. The resort is all inclusive, so we figured why not while we prep for the next days of our trip. I would say Rhodes is one of the islands that you definitely want to visit if you are a family or a couple just looking to relax. It has a lot to offer without being too overwhelming or in your face. And there are loads of activities that you can do as a family or as a couple. In my next video, I'll be showing you guys more of a medium to luxe budget where you can do a lot more visit a lot more places and um, just have a great time join me in the next one bye